I changed my voice. So remember, the brute, the geek, the fake martial artists, um, and a lot of other groups, right? The pretty boy, the spoiled brats, the privileged. They all like to pretend that they're in God's spirit in the churches, for example. But let me show you how the description here in John 8, 11, uh, through the end of the chapter, actually refers to someone like me as Christ and not anyone else, okay? They're not in God's spirit, and it's obvious by the subject matter and how he's calling them out. So John 8, 11. No one, sir, she said when he asked her who uh, condemns you, okay, after she was caught in adultery, and he says, the one without sin cast the first stone. So he says, now who condemns you? She says, no one, sir, she said. Then neither do I condemn you, Jesus declared. Go now and leave your life of sin, right? Go now and leave your life of sin. Don't just believe, but leave, right? Seeing is believing. It's leaving the world and leaving the life of sin. Accepting, carrying your cross to me. Screen now. The next section is called Dispute Over Jesus' Testimony. When Jesus spoke to the people, he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Not the light of a geek, the Luciferian light of a geek, a brute, military police, pretty boy, you know what I'm saying, LGBT, pink light, gay disco light, not Republican, uh, liberal, uh, libertarian, not the church, the light of true royal African falcon martial art life. 13. The Pharisees challenged him. Here you are appearing as your own witness. Your testimony is not valid. Jesus answered, even if I testify on my own behalf, my testimony is valid. For I know where I come from and where I am going. But you have no idea where I come from or where I am going. You judge by human standards. I pass judgments on no one. But if I do judge, my decisions are true because I am not alone. I stand with the Father who sent me. In your own law, it is written that the testimony of two witnesses is true. I am one who testifies for myself. My father, excuse me, my other witness is the father who sent me. Then they asked him, where is your father? You do not know me or my father. Jesus replied, if you knew me, you would know my father also. So you don't know God or you would know me. God set me apart as the top martial artist. You know by my actions as my speech testifying on my behalf. And Psalm uh, 19 makes that clear. And we see in John 10, just a few chapters after this, he says, the one God set apart, right? You know by my works in Exodus 15, 3, he says the Lord is a warrior. The Lord is his name. So other people aren't mature enough to admit this by their actions and to obey God through me, okay? And it's, there's parallels to that and the refusal to admit that gang stalking is real in, in a way that causes them to do the right thing. 